y'all welcome back to my channel wanted to get on here today and do a video about products that have stood the test of time and y'all I'm super excited about this because if it's in this video I have used it for years I'm gonna jump right into this but before I get started I was tagged by two people for this video the first one was Penn Smith skincare she's precious she's become a very good friend of mine she's also so knowledgeable y'all she's a high level esthetician she does videos on laser procedures makeup reviews skincare she's amazing then last night i was tagged by happiness sparkles love me some happiness sparkles she does makeup reviews skincare she has a passion for handbags so she just she's well-rounded both of these ladies are such a blessing to me they will bless you too so go visit their channels and i am just going to jump right into this first i'm going to talk about this one first so I can get it off my desk. The Conair hair dryer has been a staple, I want to say, since high school. I don't watch videos on real expensive hair dryers because I would end up with one of them, and I like this fine. This is a new one. Every time my Conair burns out, I buy another Conair. This dries my hair fine. I don't see any reason to go more expensive. And if you know one, don't tell me because I don't want to spend a lot on my hair dryer. Next, the Paul Mitchell Freeze and Shine. Circa 1990, my friend Karen introduced me to the Paul Mitchell Freeze and Shine back in seriously about 1990. I've used this off and on since then. I remember the pump got stuck in 1990. It gets stuck today. <laughs> it's worth it. It holds your hair great without making it feel overly stiff. At the end of the night, I can brush through it. It's a little painful, but they really haven't come up with anything that just totally knocks this off my radar. I'm going to continue with the hairsprays, y'all. I have some old friends in the hair department. Swab. Now, I didn't always use the fancy professionals. I used to use just a pink spray bottle. I was a flight attendant in 1989, and I remember at that time, I would carry it with me in my purse and spray my hair constantly. I had huge hair. That was my decade, y'all. The 80s, the huge hair. I went through a bottle a week of suave hairspray. This never goes away. I've got about four of these in my closet. The Aussie from the early 90s. I wish I had some scrunch spray. That's what I used to use in the 90s, but the brand of Aussie for about 30 years. And just recently when I discovered the volume shampoo, I discovered it in my daughter's bathroom and borrowed it. Fell in love with it. These are great products. The Herbal Essences Mousse. I can't tell you how long I've used this but a while I've used this for a while and since I've gotten on YouTube nothing's replaced it now I am about to try some fantastic I'll probably still always keep this kind of like my suave something may come along that's shinier and newer I don't I'll let y'all know it would be hard for me to get rid of this okay this next one y'all the L'Oreal excellence color I'm going to link my hair coloring video because this isn't the only one I used, but for years it was. Now, I want y'all to look at the number. The 8RB. If you called my sister that lives five hours away from me right now and said, what color does Kathy use on her hair? She'd be like, 8RB. From the 90s, I've used 8RB. Now, I add a lot more blonde to it now, but the 8RB, it's a staple, and it has stood the test of time, and I see videos on hair colors that are probably better for my hair i don't know that i could order and have specially made i don't know that i could give up my 8rb i just add maybe not even a fourth of a bottle of this to add a little bit of red to my hair i've tried other reds this is a good red this is reddish blonde Next, a face product, a face cream by Nair. Now, I, I've used this for years. I'm going to say since about 94. I put it on my upper lip and it wipes the hair off. This was the best find ever. Now, when I got on Tretinoin, I got off of this and just used Tinkle Razors. With Tretinoin, I wasn't sure about this. Now, I'm just going to tell you, if you are also on Tretinoin, do a test patch on this. I'm able to use this and wipe off hair, and it gets rid of it much better than my Tinkle Razor for a longer period of time. So I still use this, I would say every couple of months, I use this. And then I do touch-ups with my Tinkle Razor. This is greatness. Okay, next, my beloved Cody Powder. I'm going to say since 1989, my same friend that introduced me to Paul Mitchell Freeze and Shine and my Aussie products. 
introduced me to the Cody powder. We used to buy this at Drug Emporium in Abilene when I lived in Abilene. It still has that same smell, real strong. I don't even notice it anymore. But the first time I smelled it, I was like, that's strong and I love it. Just brought back so many memories. You get used to the strong smell of it. Well, I have. And it comes in unscented. This is finely milled. I thought it wasn't. And then my lovely friend Elle said, yes, honey, it is finely milled. It's just a real good cover. And it is. It's a great full cover in a finely milled powder. Next, I don't know when Bare Minerals came out. That's how long I've been using this. I love the Bare Minerals. And I kind of put it aside and then used it a couple of months ago and was like, why am I not using that for touch-ups? For after the gym. When my makeup's worn off a little bit, put some of this on. I always keep a Bare Minerals around in my desk, ready for a touch-up. The L'Oreal Blush. I've used these for years. I love my L'Oreal blushes as much as anything high-end. And every time I use one of these, I go, why do I buy high-end? I don't know. Shiny catches my eye. But the L'Oreal... It's always with me. I have about five backups in there. I'm gonna follow that up with another L'Oreal. Ferris Nude. This was all I wore before I started my channel. This is a great nude. It's just, a, is that a peachy or a pinky? It's lovely. Now, I always had to lighten this with concealer because I like my lipstick real light. This is great. It doesn't dry your lips out. I think it's a matte formulation. I ought to know that. This is a great lipstick. It's great. The Prestige Liner. This is what's under my eye every single day. I used to find this in stores. I don't even know if they sell this in stores anymore. It's just a black brown. I put it under my eyes. I smudge it out. It's not too firm. It's not too soft. I love the Prestige in black brown. I'm going to link it. Rimmel liners. I don't know when I discovered the Rimmel liner. I'm going to say between 10 and 15 years ago. I love the black. That's what I have every day above my lash line. And some Rimmel liner, lip liner, is always not on my desk. They're not too soft, so they get all in your lipstick. They're not so hard you can't get them on. The Rimmel liners, eyeliners and lip liners. Okay, Maybelline product. The Maybelline Cover Sticks. I bet I've used these for th over 30 years, probably in high school. If a lipstick is too dark, I'm putting it in the middle and blending it out. You can use it in the corner of your eyes. You can use it under here for a touch-up. I use it on my brow bone. Those are just a staple for me. The Puff. I keep backups over in my drawer, and I keep about three over here where I get ready. So I order these on Amazon. These are so great for blending. Probably $5 for three of these. I always keep puffs because I always need to blend, y'all. Can't tell y'all how many times my daughter looks at me a week and says, blend a little mom. Okay, not very glamorous, but Carmex. I keep this in my nightstand, and in the wintertime, I've been using this every night with Ulta oil on top of it. And when my daughter had fever blisters, I went to pick up a prescription, and it was going to be like $500, and I called my friend Pam. She's a Carmex girl. Get the Carmex. And this cleared up her fever blisters. Carmex is magic. Okay, now y'all haven't heard me mention this much. Since 1993, when I sold Lancome, I also used Clarins, the Lotus Oil. I love the smell of this one. Now, I think this is an oil balancer, but they have several. Now, I don't know if they smell like this. This smells like a spa. I love the smell of it. I love the way it makes my skin feel. I will tell y'all, this was a long time ago, but when I started using Clarins, I don't know why I don't use more Clarins, I started using Clarins, and the girls that I was working with were like, what are you doing to your skin? Your skin looks amazing. I was using Clarins. The Lancome Dual Finish. Y'all, I have carried this for 25 years, since 93. A lot happened in 93 when I was selling Lancome. This is a multi-purpose foundation. You can use it wet, and it goes on, I believe, thicker. I never use it like this. This is a touch-up. It's a staple in my purse. I put it on with a brush. It's mattifying. It's covering. This is beautiful. And that's one of my products that have stood the test of time. Y'all go over and visit Happiness Sparkles and Pen. You're going to fall in love with them. And I am definitely going to tag some people in this. I don't know who yet. I will link them down below. Be sure and go over and visit their videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.